<sighs> Another day to see what sort of hell I'm going to be reporting today. Hi, welcome to One Loop Cafe. What would you like today? I'll have a large cappuccino. That's $7.99, thank you. Cool, please take a seat. I'll give it to you when it's ready. Thanks, I appreciate it. Azer from Lakewood News. Morning. This is Officer Maverick from Lakewood City Police Department. Ah, fuck. Is it about that parking ticket? No. No, 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 no. It's, it's not that. I called to discuss supernatural sightings. Yeah? What about it? Well, I've been getting so many reports about seeing people with unnaturally glowing red eyes. Do you happen to have any news reports on them in the news archive? No, I don't think so. Do you really trust them, Officer Maverick? Sounds like a prank to me. I have to take that chance. You never know what messed up crap is going on in Lakewood these days. I mean, come on. People with red eyes? Pfft. These people are just as crazy as that purple-eyed psycho. I was there when it happened. Don't bring it up again. I'm not pulling this out of thin air. The people who reported this are concerned and you need to stop taking this seriously. It could be the start of something much bigger. More serious than what it is sure. What the hell is that? Hello? Hello? Whatever you do, don't kill me! I'm innocent! Well, I'm no, I'm not here to kill you. I know why you're here. You want food, huh? Well, tough luck! I don't have any! I don't need your food. Then, why are you here? I thought you might need a hand. But how am I supposed to trust you? We only just met. You don't. You just gotta take a chance. Okay. I'll go. So, I never really got the opportunity to ask for your name. It's Azer. I'm Xander. Over there we have Thea and Jack. I just want to say thank you, Xander, for letting me stay with you guys. Nah, it's nothing, really. Also, you'll need this. It's almost winter, and you might as well wear it now. Uh, 
Thanks. <coughs> so, Xander, what exactly are we supposed to be doing? Survive. Really now? Thanks for pointing out the obvious. We're leaving the city. First thing tomorrow. Are you serious? This is our home. Where are we supposed to live now? It was our home. Now it's just inhabited by a horde of red-eyed freaks. We could still do something about it. We can't, Thea. We don't stand a chance against them. Look what happened to Lakewood. It's hopeless. There's still hope, Azur. Tomorrow, we push forward. Good night. Jack, you idiot. They're going to get us into trouble. Ready to go? Um, yeah, I guess. Come on, let's go. There's no time for relaxation. We have to keep moving. Will you give us a break? We've been doing this for hours. It's too risky. I don't want any of us getting killed. This non-stop journey's slowly killing us. Just let us rest for a little bit, okay? <sighs> okay, fine. Azur, you okay? I, uh, I'm fine. Hey, I'm gonna take a piss. I'll... Be back in a minute. Tell me what's wrong. You can trust me. Is it all worth it? Worth it? Running away, trying to survive. Is it all worth it? Can't I just cut my cord and get it over and done with? I know what you're going through. You do? Yeah. I've dealt with quite a few patients like you in the past. You've worked at Lakewood City Hospital? Yeah. I was a nurse. Listen, there are people that do care about you, Azar. And I know you're confused and, and lost and that you don't know what to do with your life anymore. You just gotta persevere, and you will get through it. I don't know, Thea. Promise me that you will not attempt to harm yourself. I promise. What the hell did you do to him? guys shouldn't be handling him like that. Your friend was too busy coughing his lungs out to notice this all around him. Step away from him. Put the gun down. It's pointless to resist. What the actual silence? silence. <coughs> I said step away from him. It's a simple instruction. 
I really suggest you put that gun away. You have no idea what you're in for. <laughs> you both are fucking useless with instructions, you know that? Instructions are what we do best. Let us show you how. Thanks, man. I heard gunshots. Are you two okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Yes, we're fine, Thea. Damn, you sure did a number on these guys. Uh, screw them. I'm guessing it's time we keep going. Yes, and hopefully find something to eat. Give me a minute. I thought you said we needed to keep moving. We can have another break. Having another break would be nice, but if we take a break, we're screwed. But if we keep going, we at least- Jesus Christ, he's bleeding! Uh, uh, yeah. That motherfucker shot me in the stomach. Thea, do you think you can stop the bleeding? Yeah, I can. I have some bandages. Hurry! I don't think I can make it much longer. I've got him. Who's gonna lead the way now? You. Wait, what? Yep, you. You're gonna need this. I'm carrying Xander. So we're gonna need you to be up front. I don't know, Jack. We don't have much of a choice now, do we? You can do it. <sighs> okay. Where are you going? I need some time to myself. If that's okay with you. Ugh. What a day. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Are you feeling all right? Don't worry about me. I can manage. Whatever happened earlier today... Is he all right? He? Yeah. Azer. I don't know, Jack. What do you mean you don't know? Didn't you talk to him? Well, yeah. I'm getting mixed feelings about how he's doing, and I dread that he's gonna- Nope, 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 nope. I don't need to hear it. I- 
I'm sorry. It's okay. You don't need to apologize. Do you want to talk about it? Has he woken up yet? Just in time. Just breathe, Xander. Take deep breaths. <coughs> We've been walking around aimlessly for the last few days. Do any of us have any idea where we're going? I'm not sure. Remember, we just arrived here before it happened. I don't think we've even left Lakewood's borders yet. We haven't. I might know where to go. The city's borders have gates which could give way to our escape. It should be no problem getting out. That's if no one's guarding the place. That's promising. It's that easy? It better be, or we're majorly fucked. Trust me, I don't think anyone will be there. <sighs> I'm gonna get some rest now. Good night. <laughs> you good? Uh, I don't know if I can make it much longer, Azar. We, we need you, Xander. Who's gonna lead us then? You know the way out of this hell. <coughs> you need to take them there, because I can no longer do so. I'm not sure if I have it in me. You are the only one who can do this. You are their only hope. So please, will you do it? For me? I will. Thank you. to the gate. For Xander. Do you see anything that'll open the gate? Um, I'm not sure. We should take a closer look. Stop! We shouldn't make any contact with it. Come on, why not? That's why. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Man, I kid you not. It's the military, I tell you. The military's trapped us in this hellhole. They want us to suffer. It's not wise for us to jump to those conclusions. We don't really know what actually happened. Where are you? Hey. You worry me sometimes. I needed to take a breather. Nothing wrong with that, right? No, of course not. You leaving the group like that felt a little forced. Yeah, you don't need to worry about me so much. You can trust me. I can handle it on my own. I have... Every right to worry about you. We're living in post-apocalyptic conditions, and you think you can expect me not to worry? As I said, don't worry so much. I failed Xander. I got you to the gates, but that clearly didn't work. You couldn't have known. 
And there must be another way out. You just need some time to think. You'll figure it out. I know that. I hope so, Thea. Hey, while you two are busy talking amongst yourselves, I found a place that we can stay for the night. You have? I haven't checked inside yet, but we might be able to find something useful here. Some warmth would be quite nice. I can do this. That's much better. Ah, finally. A place to relax. Mm. You know what? I'll check the kitchen. You can stay here. I can check it for you. <coughs> I insist. It's not much, but this is all we have. Thank you. Ugh, it's stale. At least it's better than eating nothing. Yeah, all right. So, what would you do if one of us turned into one of them? To one of the red eyes? I would shoot you straight in the head. Jack! Jack! What? You asked! Besides, it's the most humane thing to do rather than to turn into one of those freaks. I don't freaks. think I could do it. At least, I hope not to. Yeah, me too. We'll come up with a way out of here. And we won't have to think about things like this ever again. Anyway, I'm exhausted after all that walking. We should get some sleep. I really thought I could do it. I failed them, and I failed Xander. We are just fooling ourselves. For all we know, it will be just the same outside those walls. Better to end it here. End it now. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Azure, stop! It's over, Thea. I don't want to do this anymore. It's not over yet, Azure. We can still get through this, do you hear me? What else are we supposed to do? I've dug us into a hole we can't get out of. We're sitting around doing nothing, and we're itching closer and closer to our inevitable death. What do I have to live for, Thea? What is it? We already lost Xander. I don't want to lose you too. Xander knew you were the only one who could do this. Jack and I are not from here. You are the only one who can get us out. That was a mistake. Why do you have so much faith in me? You don't even really know me. It's... it's... 
Because. Because of what? What is it? I've lost everyone I loved in the apocalypse. If I lose my brother too, I have nobody. You are my only hope. I've tried my best to stay close to you. I needed someone to keep me calm and sane in this messed up world we live in. So please, Azure, please don't leave me. I don't want to lose you. I'm so sorry, Thea. I didn't know that's how you felt. I won't leave you ever again. I promise. <laughs> I heard that you tried to kill yourself. Uh, don't get confused. What I'm trying to say is, I'm glad you're still with us. Thanks. <laughs> Who is in there? I want you out now. Ah, oh, shit. What? Who is that? Is that another Red Eyes? Not sure. But I managed to lock the door, though. We should be safe. What was that noise? Sounds like... keys! Put your hands behind your back. We're not a threat! We're not! <sighs> sure you're not. You better speak up quickly. Time is ticking. What's going on? Quick, jump him! You want your friends to live? Then show yourself. The... What do you want? I want to know what you are doing creeping around my old co-worker's we home. We had to seek shelter. There was nothing else we could do. Well, I'm afraid you all need to vacate the property. I really don't want to pull the trigger. We just want to get out of here. Uh-huh. So you all uh, wanted to get out of here too? Yeah, we all do. Well, then we'll have to talk this through. The fuck just happened? I don't know, Azure. How are you supposed to trust him? We only just met him. I don't. I just have to take a chance. I'll be ready. Like last time? That was Azure's fault. Whatever. Let's get this over with before something worse finds us too. So let me get this out of the way. You tried to use Lakewood's borders to escape, right? Yeah, but- It's electrified, I know. There's still power running through those gates. Do you know a way out? Yes, I do. There's a secret tunnel inside the main facility of Lakewood's research center where we can make our escape. It's our only option. Are you sure this is going to work? Only if you help me out. Well, in reality, anything can happen. But my question for you is... Are you willing to take that chance? I'll let you think about it. I 
Let's take that chance. Azure, please. Xander tried and did not make it. I tried and failed. This guy seems to know where to go. What else can we do? Man, look, we're not going to be able to hide forever. Okay. I promise. We'll get out of here. Before we do this, what insurance do you have that we will all make it? This. Is nobody going to explain what that even meant? can't be good. What the hell happened here? Your coughing is getting worse. Are you sure you're feeling uh, alright? I'm fine. Okay, this won't be easy. Are you ready to do this? Yes, we can do this. Very well then. to be them, man. I really hope we're not next. How'd you manage to get your hand on that anyway? Well, it's my co-workers. I searched all over my place and couldn't find it. So I thought I'd stop by their place and get one. Azure? Just be careful, okay? <coughs> so this can't be good. Can we hurry up? We don't want to encounter any of the enhanced. The enhanced? You know. Y you know. Are you okay? I have a lot on my mind at the moment. This place is creeping me out. Go and explore if you want. I'm gonna see if I can find anything that's useful to us. Why is there so much Methaprox? What do these people need this much for? Huh. What's this? Methaprox. It's a substance used to hyperamplify pretty much any living being. And what happens if we ingest it? It messes with your mind. But that's because it's not for us to ingest. I don't see any reason as to why these people need this much <laughs> Methaprox. I just don't get it. Uh, I'm sure the answer will come to you. Just let me know if you need anything. Thank you. 
This is day 44 in the lab. I've cracked the algorithm for getting the Project Onyx Android to operate properly, though it has a tendency to shut down every couple of minutes or so. I might need to crank up the Methaprox intake next time. I don't know what I've done. Project Onyx has gone out of control. Was it the Methaprox? No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to believe anymore. Where did I go wrong to? <laughs> No! No! What have they done? Hey, what's wrong? We shouldn't be here. We need to go now. Why in a rush? We're in the middle of an android testing facility and whatever these people's intentions were, they're up to no good with some sort of immortality transfer. Immortality transfer? What? This was Dr. Alvin Starn's digital diary. These scientists were devising a method of transferring our consciousness into the body of an android, which in turn allows for immortality. But look around us. They screwed up big time. I don't know. I don't know what to believe anymore. They couldn't stabilize the android. There must have been a critical error in the system. It seems so. Where are you going? We're leaving, just as you requested. Get that other guy to show us the tunnel, and also, where did Jack go? I see you found my transfer chamber. Ezra? Thea? This isn't funny. I know who you call Ezra or Thea. Then who the hell are you? Who I am is completely irrelevant. I only seek what is best for this planet, a solution to a fragile life. Humanity is inching closer and closer to the brink of extinction. Because of you and your fucking red-eyed freaks. You're not seeing the whole picture, Jack. Wait, what? The solution for humanity is immortality. The ability to live forever. It's what everyone wanted, and especially for you. You are sick, Jack, with approximately 12 hours, 9 minutes, and 1 second left to live. You were given a choice to stay in your current body and suffer the consequences. Or you jump into that chamber and I transfer your consciousness into that android over there. You are the perfect person to test the newly designed DS-100 prototype model. I... I don't know. Jack, where the hell are you? We need to go! Time is running out. If you leave this room now, there's no going back. And you will inevitably die. So what's it gonna be, Jack? You wanna live or not? I'll do it. Jack! This... this isn't gonna hurt, right? 
of this will be painful. I've been looking everywhere for you. What the fuck were you thinking? I am experiencing the joys of immortality. Immortality? Wait. It's about time you experience it for yourself, too. I don't know who did this to you, but- Don't worry. It won't hurt a bit. Sir, we need to get out of here. Can you take us to the tunnel now? It's Gerald, but yeah, sure. Where are the others? They should be here any minute now. Well, they need to hurry up. I have a bad feeling the Enhanced are coming closer. Shit! Move back! Move back! Don't move a muscle. Are we good to go? For now. They'll keep coming back with more. Unless... There must be a way to shut down the Enhanced. I hope Azure and Jack are okay. Jack! This isn't you! Who did this to you? This isn't about me. Ah! Uh, uh, you... Son of a bitch! Just shoot his leg and run. No, that won't work. In approximately 23 hours, 59 minutes, and 55 seconds, you're going to bleed to death if not treated correctly. You should join us and experience immortality for yourself. Sounds like a whole lot of bullshit. Speak again, and you're going to regret it. I'm sorry, Jack. What? No! You're going to be okay. Just hang in there. Your friend has become one of the Enhanced. He fell into their trap. So, what now? We get to the tunnel. No more distractions. The sooner we get there, the better. But what are we supposed to do with the Enhanced? Well, I... I have this. I don't like where this is going. Methyprox? It has properties that could be of some use to us. Gerald, it will only do more harm than good. This is not a good idea to be messing around with such substances. What do you think we could do with this, Gerald? We could use the Methyprox against them. Find their core network node, and we shut it down. This is it. That's the core network node. What does it do? It communicates with all the enhanced. Think of it as like a brain. If we cut the cord on the node, they should all shut down. Theoretically. Why theoretically? Also, didn't you say you weren't well, here? Yes and no. I was stationed in a different area of the facility, but that shouldn't matter. 
Why don't you try out the Methaprox and see if it does anything? It did nothing. Are you sure you- Now's not the time. Hide! This isn't a good sign. What on earth? Don't just sit there. Do something. Did... I just do that? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. See what Gerald meant by this being useful. We don't have much time. We need to shut down that node now. To the tunnel. You two go ahead. I'll catch up. We don't want to leave you behind. No, no, it's okay. You need to go. Thanks, Gerald. We wouldn't have been here without your help. We made it. We left Lakewood for good. Not all of us made it, though. I know. But I'm sure Xander and Jack are happy for us. Freeze! Don't move! Please! We're innocent! Let us explain! You illegally left Lakewood for good! How to run in with the Enhanced! Don't fucking tell me that wasn't a reason enough! And I'm sure you haven't seen the hell I've seen back there! Call nearby emergency services and take them somewhere safe. I'll check out what's inside. After a week of cleanup, the military has managed to salvage all the prototype model androids and miscellaneous items for disposal. All contact with Lakewood Emergency Services have been cut off and require the assistance of East Castle Emergency Services to further investigate the cause of this horrific event. It has been officially regarded as one of the biggest atrocities in recorded history and it has left Lakewood City in irreversible damage. The android uprising was horrific, but luckily for us, it subdued quickly. Turns out man is indeed smarter than machine. This has been East Castle Media. Back to you, Will. Ah, there you are.
start and things will end Doesn't mean you need to worry Pick up a pencil, draw a line Between the places where it's burned Treasure ever